that we'll be watching as this Arctic air mass, it continues to work its way out of Canada. So that will mean that the cold air will really be enveloping locations in the northern tier first, and then it eventually will slide further down to the south. We could be dealing with these very chilly temperatures as far south as the Gulf Coast. Notice places in the central and southern plains are very much going to be feeling the chill as we will be running well below average for this time of the year. This is what we will look like on Saturday. Lots of very cold air still surging into the region. It's like you opened up your freezer door. All of that cold air is just continuing to pump into really the majority of the lower 48. And this is dangerous. It's very dangerous, especially especially for folks that are going to be uh, possibly spending time outdoors. And we have windshield advisories, windshield warnings in effect already. And this is why. Take a look at these temperatures. Yikes. We are going to be down to negative 28 degrees in Shelby Wednesday morning. Lewiston, 28. Uh, we're also looking at negative 33 in Helena. So these are very cold temperatures. You can see those winds straight out of the north. And so that is where all of this cold air is originating from. And that is why we will be dealing with this for several days. So by Wednesday morning and into Thursday, still dealing with temperatures continuing to drop, potentially down to negative negative 50 degrees below zero. So these are very, very cold, very dangerous temperatures. Let's take a look at our wind chill and frost, uh, frostbite timeline. So you can see when we're dealing with temperatures in this range, anywhere between really zero and negative 20, and then you have winds gusting upwards of 35 to 40, perhaps even 45 miles per hour. That means that we'll be dealing with wind chills well below zero. In fact, 30 to 40, maybe even 50 degrees below zero at times. And that means that it is not going to take very long whatsoever to experience frostbite, perhaps even less than 10 minutes for some locations. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.